Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be all the books that I plan to read in the month of July. July is actually my birthday month and um, this video is actually going to go live on my birthday. Uh, so I'm going to allow myself to mood read for the month um, because I usually hit a bit of a slump around about mid-year. So yeah, so I'm taking it very, very easy on myself. I do, however, have three books that I need to read. Uh, one of them is an audio book. One of them is uh, the Literature Club um, book club pick for the month. And the other one is the Just One More Page book club pick for the month. So I'm just gonna talk you through those three um, and then just give you an idea of what I think I might read for the rest of the month. So my audiobook pick for the month is following on from the last couple of months and I'm going to be listening to Ruin by John Gwynn. This is the third book in his Faithful and the Fallen series where we are following um, some humans um, and some um, giants as they are fighting a war for the Banished Lands. Uh, but also there, there is a God War going on at the same time which the 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 uh, factions that are against each other on um on the earth are the factions that are against each other in the gods as well um and we have a bright sun and a bright star and at the end of the last book well we pretty much knew who it was going to be most of the way through that book anyway um but yes by the end of the second book you know for definite who is who I'm still trying to figure out how the bright star is known to be the bright star. There's, there's, a, I, I didn't pick up on that from the second book. So I'm definitely going to need to read through that one again at some point. So I'm really glad that I actually have the physical copies as well as the ebook, as well as the audio copies. Um, but these are great. Uh, they are 20 plus hours each. Uh, so it's a lot of listening time. But I do most of the listening on my journeys to and from work. Uh, so I get about a good 45 minutes listening um, a day. I will listen occasionally if I go out for a walk of an evening or if I walk into town of a weekend. Um, so there are times when I do read um, in addition, listen in addition uh, to my journey to work. So I'm hoping that I can get through this one as well in the month of July. So the next book that I plan on reading is Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. This is the book club pick for the Just One More Page book club. Our theme for July was a retelling and this was one of the picks that was put forward for that. Uh, this is a retelling um, based on The Little Mermaid but it's uh, the telling of the sea witch before she became the sea witch, so when she was a 12 year old girl. It's about in this story she's called Evie and uh, she lost her best friend to the sea and then one day another young girl shows up on the shoreline who greatly resembles uh, her best friend and together they fall in love with a pair of handsome princes only it turns out that this newcomer may not be who she seems and that uh, Evie is entering into a bargain that she doesn't know the full extent of until it's too late. I'm really intrigued by this. I love the idea of uh, villain origin stories. I've always been intrigued by them. I've read a couple. I have a couple on my shelves. So yes, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to picking this one up. Um, and yeah, I think I am going to read this one pretty quickly in the month um, because... I don't have a lot else to read and this one has really piqued my interest so I'm really looking forward to it. And my final actual definite read for the month is going to be the Literature Book Club pick for the month and that is, and I apologise for the swearing, I know it's not something that normally happens um, but it is part of the series title. Uh, so I'm going to be reading the Mindfuck series by St Abbey. Uh, this is a series of five novellas. We only have to read the first one, which is called The Risk, um, for the actual book club. But they're very short. They're only about 100 pages each. There's five of them. Uh, so it's likely that most of us are going to read them all by the time the um, book club chat comes around towards the end of the month. So, yeah, um, they are smutty romance. 
um i don't know how much heat how much steam is going to be in them um but they sound intriguing it's about a young woman lana who is a serial killer um only she's a serial killer because of revenge she's taking revenge on a particular group of people and her love interest is logan bennett who is the fbi agent who is tasked with chasing down the serial killer of the people that Lana has been killing along with other serial killers as well and yes the two meet and the two have an instant attraction a uh, very very much a lustful attraction and it's how the the two um will marry up um so I'm really again really intrigued by this one um I love these sorts of stories where you have two people on both sides of the coin who then have to find a way to meet in the middle um, I don't know how much Logan knows about Lana, whether he knows or whether Lana's having to hide that she is a serial killer from him. So that, if that's the case, that could be some very interesting um, setups and situations. So that will be fun. Uh, I'm sure that there will be, hopefully there will be plenty of steam and um, not that that has to have it happen in the, my romance books, but it is my preferred romance style. Um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to it and I'm sure because uh, we've got Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin and Sandra from Got a Thing for Things who are Steph's hosts this month um, for the live show. I think that it could be quite an interesting and fun discussion. So I'm looking forward to the discussion as well. Sorry if I've moved slightly. Uh, one of my cats decided to jump down off the table and knocked the cable for the ring light out. Um, yes, so those are the three books that I plan on reading this month. They're the only ones I de know for definite I'm going to read. One thing I have been doing, and it was inspired by me joining the Final Book Support Group back in May, and also seeing a video by Chatty over at The Mad Chatter, talking about her series updates, I've decided I need to get a handle on some of my series, and my mood is kind of taking me in that direction anyway. So I'm thinking that I can probably pick up a couple of series. I know there are definitely two series uh, that I could finish straight away if I wanted to because they are the final books are out and I have downloaded them. I've got another series. There's a new release coming out for at the end of July and I know I'm going to want to pick that one up. Um, so that would bring that one up to date and knock that one down off my list. And then, yeah, there are just some other series that I could catch up on. Um, so that's the way I'm leaning at the moment. Um, and I think you'll probably have to wait for my July wrap up to find out exactly where my reading went this month, because I'm not really sure where it's going. So what books are you planning on reading in the month of July? Please leave me a comment down uh, below. I'd love to chat with you all there. Welcome as well to all the new subscribers that I've had recently. Um, thank you very much. I had a shout out um, from Reading This Life, MJ over at Reading This Life, which I very, very much appreciated. And I appreciate all of you who have come over from that video and have subscribed and taken a chance on me. I hope you stick around. I hope you enjoy my content. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do give me a thumbs up and if you're not one of the ones that's already taken a chance on me, then please subscribe to my channel. Um, I love the fact that I'm really starting to grow in recent months. Um, and it's great to see um, more comments flooding in on all of my videos, which I really love. I love taking the time to reply to you all. If you didn't already know, I make videos and they go up every Monday at 6.30pm UK time. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye.